previously on Wandering Wagners. Today is surgery day for Piper. How are you feeling, Pipes? She's not amused. No. We're getting ready to leave. Yay! So we're just gonna make sure that this is doing what we want it to do. AC is on, so it's just passing through power. Now we've only got right now two circuits. Let's see. We've got the refrigerator and the lights in here set to back up. I think we'll tell it to do the freezers. And probably our internet stuff too. That way, if we did lose power, we can via Wi-Fi keep an eye on the Yes, I agree, the internet. Station. So, let's see, I got all these. These fancy lemonade I thought cars. 10 circuits would be nice, but now I gotta use a list. <laughs> H, that should be all of our internet stuff. Okay. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Got our firewood loaded up, and, but wait, you yeah. guys are probably tired hearing about this cooler right now, but <laughs> I love this thing. Yeah, but we're gonna take it with us, because you never know with us uh, if we're gonna need it if our fridge dies. <laughs> yeah, obviously right now it's empty, or else I'd need wind to help me. Right, <laughs> be a two-man job. Oh, look at this, got firewood, firewood and the cooler. Firewood and the cooler fits, all right. Fits. Fits and ships. We are traveling on a trip. We got Pipe traveling in her crate. Very unhappy about it. She keeps squeaking because she wants to look out the window, sit on my lap. But so far, she's doing pretty good. Looks like we got some neighbors. Some riffraff, some trailer trash. I say that because uh, we're completely surrounded. We've got a Class A motorhome, Class A motorhome, and us in our Super C. Oh, and she knows. And Piper knows Dave is here, and she can't get him yet. No jumping. No, she's gonna jump. You gotta hold her down. <laughs> Down, down, down. Four legs here. What are you doing, girl? I haven't seen you for a couple weeks. She's causing your demise here. Ah! Did, See how uh, quick she tries to get away? Did Andrea tell you what she did today? Yeah. Or you told Andrea what she did? I told her. I so heard about what's going on with Piper. Piper escaped while I was in the bathroom, and Mike came home from the grocery store. Piper jumped out of, it wasn't this crate, it was a different crate, a pen, I guess. Yeah, it didn't have a top. No top on it, and it's like three feet tall. Jumped out of it, right came of running it. down the stairs. Yeah. Bad girl. <laughs> Breaking out of jail. Yesterday after we got in, it pretty much started to rain almost exactly right after we got set up. So we just kind of hung out inside for a little bit and uh we went over to uh dave and andrea fitch's camper and they made uh sloppy joes or uncouth josephs if you will uh and uh shells and cheese you know it's uh mike and dave's favorite meals so we just ate over there and then hung out over there while it rained pretty much all night but it looks like it's done for today it's not going to be sunny but it's not going to be rainy so i will take that we came down here and wanted to be with Dave and Andrea because Piper had her surgery at Andrea's clinic. And now that it's been just over two weeks post-surgery, it they want to have like a look at her. So we came down here so that Andrea could give her a little look over, make sure she's doing all right with the healing. Another thing about this weekend is that on Sunday, Sunday night, it's been two years, guys. I'm going back for the refueling outage. And I'll be starting nights this Sunday. So it's kind of nice to camp with people because it, I'll force myself to stay up late. And then I can sleep in and kind of flip over back to nights kind of more gradually than all at once. So that's what I did. Last night I stayed up till probably like 1.30, 2 a.m. So I think that's pretty freaking good for just 
winging it for the first night. So hopefully come Sunday night, I'll be ready to go because it'll be a month long of me doing that at a minimum. Could be longer, but uh, I'm going to try to keep up with everything and yeah, Whew. last trip for a while. Kind of a bummer. Piper's doing good. She's not happy about having to stay in the crate the whole time. And then Guy gets super jealous as he's just pawing me because I'm talking about Piper. She just really hates being in the crate because she feels good. So she wants to be out. Unfortunately, girl, you can't have that. We have upsized or upgraded our griddle. Our old one is maybe like that big. So we got this one so we can make more bacon. Speaking of more bacon, we got this pack. This is just over two pounds bacon. I know the label says 1.4, but after he weighed it, he threw the rest on and wrapped it up for us. Delicious. Mike is down cooking our bacon. He said to go steal some food from the fitches, so that's what I'm gonna do. Cinnamon sticks? I don't know. And hash browns. Steal me some breakfast? I did. Some hash browns and cinnamon sticks. Oh yeah. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job, Mikey. That's two pounds minus a couple pieces since we ate some yeah. of bacon. I know people love their black stones, but I don't think it gets any easier than an electric griddle. Yeah, I mean, it's almost the same thing except for the power sources and it's more portable. It's way more portable. It's lighter, easier to store. Yeah, easy to clean. You don't have to season it. Mm. Right, Pipe, Piper agrees. <laughs> But it did a great job. That was our first time really using it, right? For all the bacon, or was that the second time? First time camping. First time camping, yes. I think we're gonna just take a walk, just with no dogs, which is really freaking weird. Well, we'll probably take Wade. Yeah, not none of our dogs. We don't want to take Guy if Piper can't go. We don't want her to feel like she's being left out or she was bad or something. So we just leave them both behind, walk with Andrea and Wade. <laughs> it is weird walking without dogs. It is very weird. I'm like, I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm like Ricky Bobby over here. <laughs> <laughs> this car is not even attempting to get out of this road <laughs> good job car this tree someone painted eyes on it yeah it's, they did it's making me weird. Me out. yeah i don't like it with that whole thing zoom in on it <laughs> that's yeah. creepy oh, it's on all right decided to go walk on the beach a little bit I'm surprised i'm not sinking in this is has been raining so freaking much. Mud season is gonna be so long. Get Wade going crazy. <laughs> it is kind of a bummer not to have Piper out here with us because she loves walking, hiking. I mean, guy too, but he just goes because Piper's going and he doesn't want her to do something that he's not gonna do because he's just, you know, that kind of personality. But who's ready for uh, bikini season? I'll be here before you know it. I am pretty happy that it's not windy out today because I really didn't want to have to deal with that and no sunshine. But the rain is gone, the wind is gone. <sighs> Just, uh, not really looking forward to uh, starting this refueling outage, but you know what? Brings in those big bucks, helps pay for all those mods that Mike's keeps doing and all the things he keeps buying. But you know what? If you're not gonna use it, why make it? So you only live once. We do save, we have plenty of retirement going on. We're setting up for a good future. So why not spend what we make a little bit, right?
It's pretty gross. I mean, when we were in South Dakota, we just saw a leg. We didn't see the whole freaking deer. Not the whole deer. thing, no. There's still some meat left on it. Are you hungry? Yeah. Some venison burgers. <laughs> Look at that rig. Looks so good and clean. Yeah. Especially that Jeep. Yeah. We made it back to the race and we did 5.16 miles. That's pretty dang good. I think we earned ourselves some rewards. Uh, a couple of beverages and probably some pizza for dinner. So looking forward to that. Got Piper out so that she could enjoy a blazing fire with us. With a pizza box on it. Yeah. But that way she could feel like she's actually camping and she's having a good time out of the crate for a little bit but mike's got to continuously hold her because she wants to go there's her her surgery leg but it looks pretty good i think video on this Blue Eddy AC300. People have been asking, what can you run off of this and for how long? My answer is the same as it's always been for every power station. The answer is, it depends. <laughs> it depends on what you want to run. I think the most common request has been, how long would it run my refrigerator? So I say we find out. I'm going to turn the AC output on you see we got zero coming in from the grid so we're running purely off of battery power so we got the transfer switch this first one's for our refrigerator there we go we are now running off of the power station for the refrigerator and it's currently 906 p.m We'll keep an eye on this and see how it does. And on a side note, I've been kind of playing with my portable solar panels, plugging it in here and seeing what we can do. If that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. Let's see, fridge is on, light is on, and it is cold. It's late, I'm going to bed. We'll check back in the morning and see what the battery level is. It's 7.13 a.m. I had to look and see what time it was. <laughs> and we are getting breakfast. But we can bring up the Blue Eddy app and we can see that we are down to 84%. Oh, okay. Currently at zero watts, so the fridge is not running, but. Right. That's not, pretty good. Yeah, not quite 24 hours and 84%. That's better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. It's 9 p.m., it's been 24 hours, the fridge has been running. We're at 60%. I guess we'll keep going and see what it's at in the morning. 1 p.m. 
this fridge has been running for 40 hours now. Still on. 40 hours. I will admit, I'm impressed. Are you impressed, guy? He doesn't look too impressed. Let's go see how much battery life we got left. 35%. I think I'm going to keep going. I'm going to see how long it goes until it gets down to 20%. I've done it. It's 9 p.m. It's been 48 hours. 20% battery. That's pretty good. Now, there's no load on it right now, but 20% running our refrigerator for 48 hours. We all really got to hear what Mike thinks about this setup right here. But some of you might be wondering, well, what does Lynn think of it? Does she think it's worth it? And I'm here to give you those details and answers. Um, I really do like this setup. It does give you that quote unquote peace of mind that people really like to have. And since we do like to travel pretty often and pretty far away from home. We are in the Midwest. We do get bad weather here. We just had record setting uh, amount of tornadoes already for the month of March. So that's been exciting. And I really like having this here, knowing that it is able to back up our home if we do lose power and we'll be able to check in on things with the Wi-Fi with our cameras and we'll still have all the necessities that we need to be powered on at least for a couple of days. Now, Mike is going to be running some more tests. I think he's gonna be doing some tests with the uh, capabilities that it will be able to handle with our solar panels and if we need more solar panels or maybe solar panels on the house to help support this guy when we do lose power or maybe we'll just let this run some of our outlets and we'll just use less electric from the grid. So that's always an option as well. We've been running this setup here for a handful of months and we've had zero issues out of it. It does seem to transfer pretty well. If there are any more tests that you would like to see this bad boy setup run, let me know in the comments and I'll see if Mike will be willing to run some other appliances or run just lights or something along those lines. Something that you guys would like to see in an application like he did with the refrigerator, which I thought was pretty cool. I thought the refrigerator test went really well. It lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. I mean, a full day it was only down to like 80 some percent or whatever. I mean, that's that's pretty good because usually most power outages are done in a couple of days. So that's pretty reassuring, at least for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, see ya.